Rachel for joining us in this uh, special interview series called Interview with Inspiration. Thank you for having me here. Thank you so much, Rachel. Yeah. So, uh, why don't you start by telling us your journey from right from your college days? Like, how did you get involved in this field, and how has your journey been so far? Oh my God! You really want to start from there? <laughs> well, uh, that comes a very very long way. Almost uh, 15 years ago. I'm not that old though, <laughs> but yes, uh, yes, it started. Uh, the inspiration, I would say, is that uh, uh, for doing something new, doing something creative, doing something out of the box. Yes, mm. my parents didn't want me to do uh, MBA, be educated in the right boxes, ticking all the boxes down the uh, way. But they knew that uh, there was something in me that uh, could be, you know, more. More in entertainment, basically. So yes, at that time, uh, I'm talking about 2004, 2004 and five when there were very few options. I come from Jabalpur, uh, a small place in MP, and uh, people are were not exposed to media, all the animation, VFX, or like new words altogether at that time. So uh, trying something new to get educated in something you do not know was a big step for me and my family. Mm -hmm. So yes, we took that risk. You have the risk continued and is still continuing <laughs> because uh, our field, our field is uh, uh, is is a choice we make. Being in media animation, it's art. It's a choice that a person makes to come here. And uh, yes, I. Took that risk. I got uh, in uh, ISBM Pune. I got my degree from there uh, in media management. I did my MBA, and after that, I was exposed to okay. There are so many things I never knew coming from that place. We only know oh media. It's uh, we you know we are like glamour, are the animation. So we think we are gonna do Avengers straight away. <laughs> that is not the thing. College, I think that is the best days of my life, uh, and I will always, always cherish. It's your learning process. It's where you get to know so many things. It's actually where you build yourself as a person. Jane and jane me. आप जानते नहीं हैं आप उस समय यू नो दैट टाइम इज द मोस्ट प्रेशियस टाइम ऑफ योर लाइफ करेक्ट आई थिंक द कॉलेज डेज व्हेन यू आर गेटिंग एजुकेटेड फॉर बिल्डिंग अ करियर इन लाइफ इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स वे यू आर मे बी मेकिंग फ्रेंड्स हु इज गोइंग टू बी सम डे दैट द सीईओ ऑफ अ वेरी बिग कंपनी इज योर बडी some day the person that you hated the most is going to be your boss <laughs> you never know that so the friends the people that you are building with is going to be your camp one day mm. these guys who you are drinking and partying with some day will be a huge company so i think this is the most precious days of your life live it to the fullest uh, explore yourself that's what i learned If you tell me if I want to go back to some day of my life, if I choose, it will be the days when I was learning. I was being trained for my career. I would like to go back to those days. Yeah. So your first job was as a creative assistant, right? No, no. It was I was casting director, Rishal. Yeah. Okay. It happened. It just happened. Yes, I I joined as an assistant, no doubt. But due to circumstances, in just few months. Uh, I got promoted to being the casting director. Ah, yeah, nice. it was wow. It was oh, but no, it wasn't easy at all. <laughs> yes, it it did happen. <laughs> so that was with the uh, Balaji Telefilms. Yes, it was Balaji. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, and then so uh, so how has your journey been since then? Uh, how did you end up in Reliance uh, in this? Uh, Uh, Resonance. Yeah. Oh, yes. it's a long journey. It is a long journey, uh, because yes, in Balaji, it wasn't planned as such. I wanted to get into creatives, but you know, uh, at that time, yes, life does not uh, uh, give you choices. It gives you options. So that was the best option at that time. But I uh, find it right now the most uh, uh, good thing to happen in life to get exposed uh, with the most. Uh, 
a, a flourishing and a successful company at that time. I came to know about everything about the industry, all the things, how they happen, how do things function, how contacts are necessary. So yeah, that first job of mine was like a, you know, a world in itself. It mm. got me prepared for the whole industry, the TV industry, the film industry. And uh, after a few, uh, I did a second job in Endemol, Endemol uh, Shine, which is now Endemol Shine, uh, which does Big Boss and many uh, reality shows, is famous for reality shows. So yeah, I was there. So I have an experience of TV as well as reality shows and uh, things like that. After which, uh, Roshan, I understood what uh, is my potential. Mm -hmm. So you get to know what do you like in a job. And surprisingly, I, I realized that I do not like to do a job. There's a few friends of mine who equally did not like doing a job. We got together. We started freelancing. I uh, left my job and I started uh, writing for films. Yes, it was, you can call the struggle days of Mumbai that everybody would love to go through, but then not for a long time. So yes, so the struggle days happened in writing, freelancing. And um, after which uh, I got all my friends back and uh, people who are doing well in the industry and who also had the... Uh, you know, uh, what do you say, the, the inspiration, the, the, jo bolte hai, kira, kira hota hai, aapko kuch karne ka, to get together. And that's how we all got together. We formed a company. Yes, it's not so easy as I'm telling you. It took us years. It took us years. To yeah, I think 10 company. years. So, uh, so you start your company in 2016, right? No, no. Uh, yeah, this is uh, our, uh, uh, this is a very good uh, office of us. Resonance uh, Digital is with partners. Mm -hmm. We have six partners in Resonance Digital. But I'm just talking you about uh, talking to you about the inception days when we were toddlers. You know that happened in 2010. Okay. When we you know we experiment friends together, people together, some ex bosses who help us who you know saw that in us would like who wanted us to come up. So we formed a company together in 2010 called Mighty Hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we had few partners and friends which sailed on quite well. We did a lot of shows. Uh, we did, uh, we launched uh, uh, Raw Star with uh, Honey Singh that was on Star Plus. We did a lot of ads and commercials for diamonds uh, and a lot of things, a lot of things, you know, as a small company. And after which, uh, we got a lot of offers. We started seeing that we, we were opening new gates to new business opportunities. So that happened after 2010 and 11. So yeah, uh, we got a lot of, uh, we got a chance to uh, launch our channel as a project. It was called Anandam, uh, which is a part of uh, Art of Living, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. Mm -hmm. So yes, we launched our own channel, which was a very big experience for us. And uh, yes, that lasted for a year. And after that, we uh, you know wanted to go ahead. So we always made it a point: the whatever step you take, the next step should be big. It should not be a step back. So yes, then after that, uh, in two thousand sixteen, rather uh, fifteen sixteen. We found partners, we found investors, and together everybody came in for a very uh, uh, unique business model, Roshan. That is Resonance Digital. So it has a lot of verticals. We made it a point that we don't depend on one vertical. Uh, okay. Being the past experiences of so many years, of uh, 10 years ago, and seeing what how the industry has been working. So we have a lot of verticals in Resonance Digital, which caters to every aspect of media. And uh, we made it a point that we become a one-stop shop. So mm -hmm. you have everything under one roof. So we, we have and, uh, uh, VFX, animation, CG, we, have, we make commercials, 
we recently came up with our web series Chhattisgarh is the first historic web series uh-huh. and the, it's a big uh, web series yeah so it's with Ashutosh Rana playing Aurangzeb which has been never played before and uh, Jitin Gulati who plays uh, Chhattisgarh so uh-huh. yeah we have a beautiful uh, cast with Vaibhavi Kandalia who's a South Indian star and uh, Manish Wadwa. So we, we worked two years on the research of this uh, show. So we have our, we've produced our first web series. We have done a lot of things, mostly doing work from overseas for animation and CG and VFX. And uh, the latest we have done uh, both stories for Netflix. We are in Netflix approved studio. We have done Bagi 3. Mm-hmm. So there are a lot of things up in the pipeline. So see, the journey starts from there. And here we are. So we have directors who are responsible for each and every vertical. Everyone is, uh, uh, you know, has their uh, vertical uptight. And uh, we are friends also. So it's a beautiful uh, journey working with friends and uh, being professional also. So, uh, can you uh, tell us about uh, how the market looks like in India right now uh, for uh, especially, you know, pre-production as writing? Because uh, what we know is that uh, India has never really been the hotspot of uh, good IPs. So, we always have worked as compositors or roto artists, you know, or some CG animation guys on somebody else's stories. Usually, they would come from the West. And we would do all the, you know, the other work, the donkey work here. But in the last few years, this situation has changed. And we are also coming up with very new IPs now. Uh, And which is specifically, uh, other than uh, just doing uh, mythological stories. So we have our own characters. We have, so this is uh, like a good change. Um, So could you please tell us that, how do our students prepare themselves to be good at writing so uh, yeah and how the market looks like in the next uh, in the coming years uh Rishul, that's a very very important question and yes i would love to talk about that it's very very important Rishul. Uh, writing yes you know uh, being in india and being indians we are actually blessed Rishul. we have so much so much story Mm. We have so much history. Yes, yeah, you can say, yeah, why are we always running after Mighty Bhim and Ghatotkaj and Ashoka and yeah. But you know, Rishan, uh, we have so much in, it's a Pandora's box. It's very sad that we do not look at our Pandora's box that way. And uh, yes, we as a company right now at Resonance Digital, have worked on uh, our, I would say, uh, our projects are uh, such that we want to hit that. And uh, we have already uh, come a long way and that is our future plan to come up with something uh, that we are not working on somebody else's idea, which is originally ours, which is never seen before, yes. And we want to hit it as clear, as pure, as it is in the market, in the global market. Yes, we can do it because we have the potential. But we always keep thinking, you know, uh, that quality is better. And yes, we do face a lot of things when it comes to finances. These things need a lot, huge budgets. Yes, they do. And uh, there are projects like 450 CR and all, and they people put it. Right now in India, we uh, are facing the problem of people trusting in putting such projects. We do have that. So yes, writing is very important to flesh out that thing. You need to foresee, you need to go there and not limit yourself in thinking. We limit ourselves. We think about finances first, you know. We think about how this cannot be done. And that limits us while we write. 
we think nahi nahi let's compare ourselves what somebody has done in india what is out which is running in the market right now which is popular we'll compare to doremon we'll compare to something like uh, harry potter that has already been done we never think something that has never been done and unless that thing comes from inside that conviction that yes i have something unique and let me think that way we 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 limit ourselves and we are actually sitting on a huge box you know when uh, spielberg came with uh, tintin it was something we never seen before you know that the the texture the things the story the it was some, he he invented a whole new camera wow you know because you say kare ye kaise ho sakta hai you know that comes up you know, you make it exactly things happen you let it happen you think don't limit your thoughts so once you limit your thoughts the first step that is writing you let your mind flow think out of the box don't compare it to anything because the day you think that i need to compare i need to think about the market what's there what's not you start comparing you limit yourself in writing mm. so i yes yeah you need to have knowledge about what's happening what's going around general knowledge yes but while writing you do not put comparison you do not limit you don't think about money and i think that's how you should do it you should let your thought flow you should not think ki kaise execute hoga ye hoga ki nahi hoga aap likhe aap unique likhe dekhiye kya hai what comes out out of you every person rushal is individual person is creative they have something that is different in them but we don't see person person so we limit ourselves right so uh, do you think that uh, reading is a very important step before we can start imagining and we can start writing sorry what did you say reading reading different people different stories novels do you th- uh, how important is that there is a there is a type of reading rushal mm-hmm. there are types of reading there are people who read to get inspired there are people who read and pictureize and unconsciously bring that into themselves there are people who read and let things be and let their original self come out they you should read that way you should read in a way i would suggest people to uh, yes you need inspiration but not copying exactly. you have to check yourself while you write are you writing somebody else's thoughts or are you bringing something out of yourself i believe in originality because originality sells yes so yeah they you should be careful while you are reading because your thoughts are like a ground you don't know what you are you are uh, growing there as seeds you know and you you it, there is a lot of things that happen that's how ideas clash that's how like i write a, a read a book and you to read the book we both are inspired and we both can make the same subject which is true so yes reading you have to be yeah if you just enjoy reading you have to be careful of what you're growing in there so yes that's important um uh, and uh, considering this lockdown situation uh, this covid-19 situation uh, how do you think the market scenario will change for story writing and pre production in general i guess uh you know it's not uh, going to change rushal yes there is a disturbance right now we are all affected with it it's not going to change anything the demands uh, the way of functionality yes that may change but i just uh, hope people uh, are exposed to uh, new things and uh, people have been uh, bored and they have must have explored 
10,000 series and entertainment and things. I, it's a very uh, huge thing, uh, Rushal. Uh, you know, uh, right now in the industry, we have been running behind things that are hit. If one series is hit, there are 10 other channels making the same thing, writing the same stuff. Mm -hmm. I just hope and pray we change. We, as a company right here, me, we always, always focus on bringing original things, bringing things out of the box, keeping in mind what's in the industry running right now, and then trying to be different. So yes, this is what we are. Things are not going to change. The the writings, uh, uh, because it's a huge uh, ocean out there, Rushal, everybody is has different uh, strategies, has different uh, ways. And I still emphasize on one thing, and that is being different, writing different, thinking different, being different. It, it works. It does work. Yeah. So, uh, could you also talk about uh, some major challenges that you must have faced uh, all through your career? So, uh, right from your first job and up till to uh, up till actually opening your own company. Uh, so, because many of our students also would like to, you know, work in the industry for a few years and then probably open their own studios. So, uh, so they have a lot to learn from experiences of people like you who have started right from the scratch. So. What kind of challenges are there and uh, what goes into good decision making when it comes to, to being a good entrepreneur? Yeah, Rushal, that's yes. Um, it's a long story, but let's bring it to very uh, short points in life. I would mm -hmm. like to sum it up to very small things, very little things that we do not uh, consider in life. Mm -hmm. which are actually the most important things. First of all, I would uh, emphasize on one thing is that a person needs to first believe in themselves to know who they are. You know, because it takes really a lot of time to know what you hold inside will push you ahead. Your mental health your physical health, that we, we just shun it out. But in the longer run, these are the things will stand right in front of your face. These are the major challenges. There are all kinds of challenges, Russian, Financial and uh, politics. A uh, lot of things. There will be people who will want you to pull you down. You being very intelligent you may be very intelligent you may be the one of a kind but there would be people pulling you down there would be a lot of things uh, you would face in a company there are a lot of things but the most important thing is that a person knows who they are they should know their potential their mind should be healthy their body should be healthy one day you will be at a place, you will be at the top, earning I don't know how many figures uh, thing, but your health will not be there. Your mental status would not be there and you will just not be there. So there are a lot of little, little things that we uh, show off. We think, Are, nee, nee, I am working really hard right now, I want to pull it off. But later on, it comes up and is standing there and these are the bills, yeah. I have been hospital, uh, hospitalized, I have been in the, EC, uh, in the ICU, so I know that. So you're working, 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 and you're not paying attention. There's, uh, there are things uh, like when you have taken that step of starting on your own, believe me, nobody is going to help you. Believe me. So you should be uh, that strong enough to know who you are, what your potential is before starting, a company on your own you should have all your figures uh, in place your finances everything knowledge about the laws about how, how a company should be running 
everything, everything prepared. Yes, we faced a lot of challenges. There would there have been months and months uh, of no work. There have been uh, bills to be paid without no work. So you have to be prepared for everything. And yes, when you know what your potential is, Roshan, you know that you will never give up. So we have been on ground zero many times. We have come back to square one many times. But there's one thing that always pushed me, pushed us as a team, is a very strong team together. We put our trust on people who have the same passion, who have the same belief, will not pull each other down, would trust each other's potential. And that what's you know, brought us in the long run. We managed to find people with the same passion, find people with the same uh, positivity. And uh, yes, we take care of each, each other's uh, mental health, physical health, giving each other break in life. All these things are really important because uh, you may never know. Today I'll tell you, I'll jot you something about a challenge that you may face. Yes. What if down five years down the lane, there's something out of the blue, something new. Right now, COVID-19 is something no world would have prepared for. Am I right? Yeah. So we, we, we never knew we would face a situation like this. Mm -hmm. where, yeah, we are sitting at home. Uh, uh, we can't go out. So many industries, yes, the media industry has been affected very greatly. The worst, the shootings have, cannot be done. Yes, our one year is gone. How do we do it? If you ask me, uh, were you prepared for this? I said, no, obviously not. But uh, you know what is important right now? That how you have planned yourself as a team, as people who would not pull you down, as people who are there at the worst circumstances with their experiences in the industry, with, with their knowledge, with what they bring on the table, each and every one. So right now, what we are facing as a company, we, are, we have set uh, high-tech machines at everybody's homes. We are working from home. They are, and uh, we have tried to, uh, you know, um, stop the bleeding. That's what we have been uh, doing. And yes, healing will be the, the next process. We pray. So yes, Rushal, uh, this is very important to know. So even every time you are brought down to square one, to brought down to zero, you think about who you are, what your talent is. This is the only industry, uh, Rushal, where a person is known by name. Rushal, Rachel, what is your talent? Who you are? Each and every person is an artist. Mm -hmm. So you won't be known, ki, uh, ye kaam, you will be known as an artist. This so and so is that artist, has done this. And you are, uh, the money is, the, the asset is you, your work. So yes, all these things, your, who you are, your mental health, how do you face the world? Because you would like to get an Oscar right away in five years and you must have planned so many things. But what about this, what about the body? You'll be working day in, day out because you have a lot of passion in you. But what about... One day your body give up. So these, all these things have to be very important. What if one day you just don't feel like working? You have lost all your passion. What about that day? You have lost everything. You feel like a loser. So yes, Rushan, these are all the very, very small things. Very important things. So that's quite quite interesting. So you mentioned that uh, so perseverance is probably one important skill that we should try to build in and trust in others. So yeah. Uh, so now we would like to know about your future plans with your uh, resonance digital. Yes, future plans. Yeah, we uh, like I told you before, 
we believe in bringing uh, things that are original out of the box. Uh, we are looking for projects uh, in collaboration uh, overseas. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, we, I believe that yes, India has a lot of talent. We have beautiful artists. We have beautiful people with original ideas. And yes, we uh, are planning to come up with, yes, I told you, like I always uh, say that uh, next step should be a big step, no matter what. So we always plan in taking a big step and that is what has pushed us to go ahead. We are on to uh, big projects right now. Yes, they are at hold uh, because of uh, this uh, period that we are facing right now. But at this time, we have made the maximum use of this uh, period by uh, brainstorming, by getting time to work. Uh, you know, So ideas time Yes, so this is it. This is what's there. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So, um, in the end, I would like to ask you that uh, you must have gone through a lot of uh, show reels and a lot of portfolios. Uh, so, uh, what are the few common mistakes that people usually make when they are making their show reel? Uh, what do you guys look for uh, in a new candidate? And, uh, so the, the scenario of academics in our country is like people are generally taught software right but there's a lot a lot more things which goes on when you actually start working somewhere so yes if i'm a student i have been given a lot of assignments and i'll have some kind of showreel to show uh, to to exhibit how do i take my showreel to the next level so that it becomes much more appealing to the industry see rushan uh, what i've i've gone through a lot of yes colleges we pick up a lot of students from different colleges in for internship as well as job. Uh, one thing that I see in the showreels right now, see, I can't <laughs> demand much because what whatever knowledge uh, a student has at that time, they just बोल सकते बहुत कच्चे हैं इस वक्त वो लेकिन एक चीज वो अपने आप को क्या बोल सकते हैं to come into notice is that when you bring something that is yours, which is uh, which shows a person, which shows their personality. Now I will come to the detail of that by saying that आप क्या करते हैं कुछ demos दिखा देंगे शोरील में कि ये मैंने ये किया है ये किया है you know some kind of uh, in different aspects uh, whatever. But uh, what is more important, Rushal, is the idea which portrays what actually the student has thought. When you show your shori, it should be about yourself. What comes, what is coming from you. Now, uh, I have seen that uh, there are a lot of people, they make their own things. Some things are technically uh, not up to the mark. It's okay. I will accept it. Okay, because you're just right out of the oven. I can't expect you to be one brilliant thing but the idea the the intention is very important so i've seen that yeah you just randomly take two three things together to show how good of an artist you are right now that is not important i'm not here to uh, check on how good you are rather i would be seeing the idea behind because up in the due course of time up a manj jaoge up a raw diamond who up uh, challenges and on sub se aap shine karoge life me. Lekin aapka under ka main potential kya hai. Artists are not able to sell themselves. Artists are not able to uh, give a good advertisement about themselves. Communication is very important to them. They are not able to communicate. Compu uh, communication is the key. Where you are able to communicate yourself. 
sell yourself because in the longer run these same artists are going to deal with clients i am sorry to say clients are not educated in our field sometimes as an artist you have to educate your clients you have to sell yes we have marketing people we have a whole team but one day you are sitting face to face with the client selling what you have made and they have no idea of how much time a thing takes what are the technical aspects of making a small little thing they do not know you right there are a whole company in yourself you are working in the company but you right now represent a company therefore again i will emphasize on artists knowing themselves selling themselves communicating well knowing what they are making if you have made something you should be able to explain you should be able to tell the audience the client your employer your boss what you have done the people mostly i find them are not able to sell themselves great so thank you so much rachel for joining us i think this was a very meaningful conversation and our students and our faculties um, you know they will have lot of things to take away from this uh, interaction and all the best sure. for your future endeavors yeah thank you so much rachel for having me here it was really fun thank you